But losing our privacy through computers, apps, and social media really doesn't surprise us anymore. We've been talking about that for a long time, but a new bit of research shows your car might actually be the biggest offender of all. Fox 5 I team's Dana Fowl is here to explain. Ooh. Your vehicle. Man. I mean, your car, your truck, they're being called a privacy nightmare? Yeah. Here's the headline. Take a look for yourself. Cars, worst we have ever reviewed for privacy. Who is we? Mozilla's Privacy Not Included group takes a deep dive look into all those things that connect to the internet, like toys, gadgets, those home products, and now vehicles. Part of the lure of the new modern day car is that it's a rolling computer. But according to this group, where that's advancing, the privacy safety nets that should go with it are not. Privacy Not Included looked at 25 car brands and here's what they found all 25 collect more private information than they believe is necessary the group says car companies collect data on medical and genetic information your sex life mm. how fast you drive where you go and your taste in music 84 percent sell that data fixed 56 percent they say share it with the government like the police when they're asked only two brands owned by the same company and not really driven in the U.S. say you can delete your private data from their system. And get this, according to Privacy Not Included, dating apps and sex toys publish more about privacy rights than your vehicles do. <laughs> That's unexpected. I know. <laughs> Did not expect you to say I, that. I, I wow. didn't know. Well, I'm not even going to go into that part. But, yeah, but it's interesting. It is. Okay, so are, what do we do? Are we just stuck with this? Kind of ish, ish. You know, you can go to the site that I'm going to post here in a second, which will be on your web page or our web page, and you can look up personal vehicles, the ones that you own. And there will be some guidance and options for ways to disengage your vehicle from the automaker's system. It's not a cure all, but it's a start if you are bothered by this. A lot of people are, and a lot of people are like, meh. Uh, they have it all anyway. I mean, the fact that they know your music taste and how fast you drive, that's not so surprising. Some of the other the stuff rest is. of it. Yeah. Man. So, okay, here's what I'm wondering, and this is not part of your info, so you may not know the answer. Would this be a benefit then of having an older car? Because it's not all connected, right? So you, it's, I, it's a I, little more off the grid. I than... was thinking about that this morning. You know I have that one older yeah, car. Yeah, and I yeah. drive it to and from work, and it doesn't connect to anything anymore. And I thought, oh, well... That's a good thing, <laughs> I guess. Right. And my husband's car connects to everything. Yeah. I mean, I got an email saying we need to, we need new wiper fluid. Oh wow. Yeah. Super so connected. It's yeah. Really connected. Yeah. But that I mean that's and something to consider. Thing is, I think he's not a very connected person. I love the connections. Right. So we're in the wrong cars. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Yeah. But I don't know. I think if that's something you really value, then maybe it's worth you know. Well, yeah, I mean, going I, back a few years. I rec uh, some of it I understand, but medical. I. Some of your very personal stuff. Yeah. Wow. That's it. Mm, wow. Mm -hmm. Bringing it to our attention. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to explore more because I think this is pretty interesting. It is. You got to share yeah. that with us. Oh, I'll All find right. Out. Dana, thank you.